Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just the surface area of a cylinder. Now, basically with a cylinder, like if you get a cylinder and you draw it out, if you had like paper that went around the outside of it and you unwrap that paper, that would actually look like a rectangle. Like if you got a rectangular piece of paper, you can grab one, you should grab one, go and get one. So you get a piece of paper and then this. Then if you wrap it around and you make these two ends the same, then basically you will have a cylinder. Okay. So in order to find the area of the surface, this part in here, this curved surface area, that matches up with that rectangle. The area of a rectangle is base times the height. But the perpendicular height is the same as the height of the cylinder, because when you unwrap it, it will stay exactly the same height. The problem that we do have is this one here, down the bottom. Now when you curve it around, it becomes this part here. Okay, so on your cylinder, it's the part going around like that. So that is actually the circumference. So if you're looking at the this here, this would be the circumference of the circle. And the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. 2 pi r. And the height is h. Okay, so that curved surface area, the curved part of the cylinder, is equal to 2 times pi times the height, or 2 pi r h. And the two circles at the end, there's two of them, is 2 lots of pi r squared, because pi r squared is the uh, surface area of a cylinder. So that means that altogether, if you get the whole surface area, it's 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h.